So we all know for editing drums, you're supposed to split and move and apply your own crossfades and things, as opposed to stretch editing, because stretch editing is horrible and it sounds really bad. And if you do it, you're a total noob, right? I'm going to play a couple different things, uh, stretch edit versus split edit, and let's listen to it. I think, you know, stretch editing could have a bad taste in your mouth from stretch editing um, in the early days. It could be pretty bad, but I think it's come a long way. So let's look at these. So here's a, uh, just messing around with uh, split edits. And you know, th there's different ways around this, but usually you, the, the big problem with the split editing to me is you can end up with some goofy kind of artifacts when you have to double up stuff that was played too quickly. But you know, it still works. So here's looking at that. And here it's stretch editing. And uh, you can see I've set this up with the 15 millisecond fade size, um, elastic, and um, I'm using the tonal optimized setting and I'll show you why in a little bit. And here I'm just gonna play the split editing versus stretch editing. I'll just cut between these two, you can hear them. I'll just kind of play them in a loop. Okay, now this is a um, tonal optimized versus transient optimized. And you would think that, that transient optimized is going to be the best way to go, but um, I don't know. It, it seems like the tonal always works better for me. <laughs> 